Hi, it's Vishali. I am at Stamford Bridge where I've been to Antonio Conte's and Diego Simeone's press conferences ahead of Chelsea's game with Atletico Madrid. Now, um, before Conte came out to speak to the press, it was time for Cesc Fabregas to talk about the game. And um, what was really interesting, actually, from Fabregas's bit to the media was um, talk about his future because this time last season, Fabregas had made just three starts in all competitions for Chelsea. Um, and, you know, obviously now, this season, and he's already made 18 starts in all competitions for Chelsea. So he was asked about whether or not he was genuinely worried about his future at Chelsea uh, last season. Um, and he basically admitted that, yeah, he basically was worried about his uh, future at the club um, because of the fact that he wasn't starting week in, week out. And he said there was two things he could have done last season. And one was, you know, um, give up. The second of which was... Um, um, you know, put his head down and, and work as hard as he can and he admitted that that's what he did. He put his head down in training and when he got those minutes on the pitch, he basically tried to show Conte what he could do and it's paid off, you know. Um, now, in the 3-4-3, three, three, um, he starts. If it's a 3-5-2, he starts and he said that Conte actually trusts him now in the 3-4-3 three, three. and I thought that was really, really interesting. Um, he was also asked about his contract situation at Chelsea because he is 30 now and Chelsea typically don't give um, more than sort of one year contract extensions to players over 30 and his contract runs out in 2019 and he basically admitted look he said I am still young I am only 30 um, and he said he really hopes to basically stay at Chelsea so he is targeting a stay at the club um, after Fabregas uh, came out, Conte was next up to speak to the press um, about the game and um, he was also asked about Fabregas so I'll just tell you what he said about the midfielder, he said, you know, um, he was asked, how did Fabregas win your trust? And he basically said he worked hard um, and, you know, the pair now share a, a fantastic relationship. So he was full of praise. He said, you know, he's a winner. He's got a winning mentality. He's won a lot before in the past, but he continues to show that week in and week out. Um, after Conte and Fabregas spoke to the press, it was time for Diego Simeone and Felipe Luis to come out um, and speak uh, and preview a huge, huge game for Atletico because, of course, Atletico need to beat Chelsea in order to have any hope of staying in the Champions League. Um, if they don't win, they will basically be playing Europa League football. Um, now, Felipe Luiz um, was asked about Diego Costa. Of course, he left Chelsea in the summer um, because he wanted to come back to Atletico, but he can't play um, tomorrow because uh, he, because of course of uh, Atletico's transfer ban. And Felipe Luiz said that, in his eyes, Costa uh, was the best player at Chelsea because of his goal-scoring return. And he said, you know, it's going to be a huge loss for Chelsea, not, um, sorry, for Atletico, not to have Costa in what is a huge game for um, for the Spanish side. Uh, Diego Simeone was quite short, I felt, with his answers, and it probably is because they've just uh, flown into London and they've come straight here to Stamford Bridge. Um, now, Simeone was, um, he was asked about whether or not this Atletico side, who struggled in the Champions League this season, um, you know, they're as good as a side that reached the Champions League final uh, twice. And he said, look, we've been working with the same group of players for six years. And, you know, playing in La Liga is like playing in the Champions League. And he kind of, you know, basically saying he has trust in his players. Regardless, it's going to be a tough task for Atletico because they need to beat Chelsea um, if not, they're going to be in the Europa League. It's going to be a huge game. I'll be there at Stamford Bridge. Um, so expect another vlog on Tuesday.